One of the most awaited gaming phones for 2021 is here, the ROG 5. And I'm really excited to show you what's inside this box and of course, to run you down the specs and to tell you what you need to know before buying this phone. So are you ready? Let's go and unbox it. So right now, let us unbox the Asus ROG 5 so we can see the box very very premium and this is the 10 cent edition so you can see the five logo over here and of course the rog logo over here rog phone 5 same here have our blade over here let's cut it open Oh wow, so nice. You can see some animation over here. Really, it's so nice. For those who dare. Mm -hmm. It's nice. So taking it out of the box, you can see ROG SIM injector pin. And definitely we have our stickers over here, user guide, warranty card, everything's here. Let's put it on the side. And of course, we have this one, the case. The case really looks premium, as you can see, as always, from ROG. I expect nothing less. So let's pull out the phone. We can see we have the black edition. So pulling it out, let's see. Hmm. Looks neat. And further inside the box, let's see what's more inside the box. There is of course our charger. Quite a heavy brick over here. 65 watts of fast charging, nevertheless. Type C to Type C cable. Some plugs. And that's for the unboxing. So let's take a look at the design. So we can see the camera here. There's three camera lenses, starting off with the 64 MP main camera. The design is gloss finish and you can see the five logo over here. And it's really, really elegant. They have really bumped up their design this year. So you can see here's the air triggers, two air triggers. Then power button, volume rockers. And on top, it's quite clean. And then on the other side, this one's for the dock. And this one is your SIM tray. Underneath, we have your USB Type-C charging port. And of course, welcoming back the 3.5 mm audio jack. Let's try to boot it up.
can see that the welcoming is very very nice as expected from REG nonetheless it's really really nice so you can see here that there's a warning over here so the the side port here is used for charging and the port down there is used for aero cooler so take note of that So we can set the triggers. So right now for welcoming, you can unfold the design of the box. So hi guys, it's me Richmond of Gadget Psychic. So we've seen the unboxing of the ROG5 and really out of the box, it's really, really nice. The presentation is nice. You can see all the animation when you scan on the box itself, as you can see that we've shown you after opening the box. Now this phone really is a big, big upgrade over the version 3. And I can say the glass back at the back really really is very very elegant you can see the logo here it's a breathing led light and it's an rgb panel together with some rog prints then it has the triple camera on top and at the bottom this one is used for cooling fan if you want to charge your phone or transfer data use the one on the side now out of the box after holding this phone i can say that it's a little bit heavy but of course Heaviness has its advantage. This one has a very, very big battery at 6,000 milliampere hours of battery. It, it can also support up to 65 watts. And guess what? In 30 minutes, it can charge up to 70%, which is really, really fast. Now this phone ships with the Snapdragon 888. It's a 5G chip. It's the latest from Qualcomm. It's the probably the best already right now for gaming. And this one comes in three variants. Either go for 828 gigs of storage, 12, 256 gig of storage, or 16, 256 gig of storage. The 16 is definitely wow. And it also has two colorways. This one in my hand is the Phantom Black. The other one is the Storm White. Which one do you prefer? After running some benchmark on this phone, running Antutu version 8.5, it scored a 720,000 points. 
And on Antutu version 9, it can score up to 800 plus points, which is mm, pretty impressive. On Itutu Benchmark, it just scored 156,000 points. 8,563 on Slingshot Extreme, pretty good score. 1,117 on Geekbench for single core, and 3,478 for multi core. Now, after watching some videos here on this phone, I can say the resolution is really nice. It has a 6.78 AMOLED display, packs together with a 144 Hz of screen refresh rate, and guess what? The front screen is a Corning Gorilla Glass Victus which is the latest and the most toughest glass probably on earth. And at the back, it's a Corning Gorilla Glass 3. And on the side, it's aluminum frame finish. And of course, there's RGB panel at the back. And of course, the pressure triggers, the game triggers on the side buttons. Probably the only thing that I don't like on this screen is the bezel. It's a little bit thick for 2021. Most of the phones are going for bezel-less, ultra-thin bezel, punch hole, but this one still has the camera on its bezel. I wonder why. Now this phone runs on Android 11 together with the ROG UI. And taking a quick look at the camera, it has triple camera setups, starting with a 64 MP main camera, 13 MP ultra wide lens, 5 MP macro lens, and of course our front facing camera is a 24 MP front shooter. Now let's take some quick photos and see how it looks. Now, taking some photos out here, I can see the resolution is pretty, pretty solid on this one. And it's a surprise for a gaming phone to have some good photos like this one. And the selfie photos, not bad. Now, this phone has two amplifiers and it's also DTS dual steer surround sounds. And it's really, really producing some nice sounds out of this phone. And it's also Bluetooth 5.2 ready together with an NFC inside. It also has an in-screen fingerprint scanner, which makes it really, really premium. So right now we'll turn on the X mode. We just need to squeeze this on the bottom. You can see the X mode is on. And at the back, it's already glowing. So right now we're ready to play some games on this phone. So are you ready? This is probably the test that you want to see if this phone is worth buying or not. So let's go. So playing Call of Duty, one of my favorite games of all time. I can say that this really, really is really a good experience playing this game. The game is, the gameplay itself is really nice. And I can say that the graphics is definitely excellent at 144 hertz of screen refresh rate together with the dual stereo firing sound with dual amplifiers. I can say that the gunshots are really, really loud. It's really nice, it's really crisp. Do you know what I mean? And during the gameplay, I could hardly feel some lags on this gameplay. It's really, really smooth. And you can unlock all the high settings on this phone as you want it to be. And using the game triggers, the air triggers or whatever triggers you want, it's a pressure touch uh, triggers on top. I can say it's pretty responsive. Uh, it responded to my reload and my gunshot. It's really giving me one of the best experiences playing this game. Now moving on to Genshin Impact, I can say that this game really is really nice. Uh, the gameplay is smooth, the graphics is nice, the sounds is also pretty, pretty nice. Fighting the enemies, you can see that it's really, really smooth, the action is smooth. Unlike other phones, it's a little bit lag, you can, you can really feel it, uh, especially when you're fighting all enemies using a lot of action movements, you can really feel that it's really laggy but not on the ROG 5. After playing roughly for an hour and a half I can feel that the back is starting to heat up. Based on my thermometer it reaches 40 degrees Celsius so I think you need some kind of a cooler back there to make it a little bit cooler for your gameplay. If you want to play four hours, five hours, I highly suggest you buy a cooler for this one. What's my verdict on this phone to buy or not? I can say that this phone really is awesome. The ROG 5 really 
destroy the competition for gaming. There's a lot of gaming phones out there, but they really have to bow down to the ROG 5. I can say that this phone has stepped up in terms of design, in terms of camera, but of course the heating issue should go away if you want to stay on top. And this phone really can perform. I can say I really give a thumbs up for the ROG 5. Now, do you think this is the gaming phone for 2021? Comment on the comment section below and let me know what's your thought of this phone. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here from my channel. So I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.